gentleman's question, but isn't it true that uh, Goldman Sachs benefited from AIG bailout? They got $13 billion and was the largest uh, recipient of the public funds from AIG. And in fact, creating the uh, collateralized debt obligation, the CDOs, form the basis of the current crisis we have today. But while you were CEO of Goldman Sachs, you were an active part of that business. So my problem is when you say you're pained by AIG, I go back to your bait and switch when you came here into Congress and you suddenly decided instead of buying the toxic loans, you're going to go out and start to give money to these people. So if you didn't have any credibility on the bait and switch, how do you have any credibility today to come before us and tell us that you're pained by AIG? Well, l let me respond. Do you understand the credibility you have? You came here, you said in this two and a half page bill that you wanted $750 billion. Then immediately after you got approval from Congress, you changed it. You baited this on, then you switched it, and then you started giving money to these institutions, the top 15 institutions. When all these, bank, these people who had the loans, you could have worked out a homeowner's equity plan around this country to help the people who are actually having their homes foreclosed. And you're helping AIG, and you're helping Bank of America, and you're, you're bankrupting Lehman Brothers, who is your biggest competition. Isn't there some point you should have recused yourself and said, you know something, all my buddies and Goldman Sachs are over there. You know, I really feel that I shouldn't be making these decisions to make Lehman Brothers go bankrupt, that I really should recuse myself. And the fact is that you're coming here and say you feel the pain of AIG. It's just, it's just outrageous. Well, I would like to respond to you, Congressman, because I find your statement outrageous. Uh, so okay, much. Mr. Paulson. Well, let me tell you, I have the time, Mr. Paulson. Let me just say one do other I, thing. I, no, 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 I just want you to speak into the mic. Pull the oh, mic. Okay. Let, me so, just, let me just say one other thing here. You know, when you look at, you're saying to us, you support the Obama administration giving more power to the federal regulatory, the, the, the Fed. But, but when you look, the Fed was on, Geithner was on board at the Fed, the New York Fed, dealing with all these institutions. He didn't get it. And then we had this uh, fellow who came up afterward, Mr. Friedman. He was on the Goldman Sachs board, and uh, he didn't last too long as a Fed chairman. Why? Because he had a conflict of interest. Is it possible that there's so much conflict of interest here that all you folks don't even realize that you're helping people that you're associated with, and you should be recusing yourself for America's uh, ethics? Well, let me make several comments. The first comment I will say is I came to Congress, I asked for the TARP, and I asked for, a, uh, for authority to purchase illiquid assets. We but got, in 10 we days you changed your opinion. We changed because the situation changed dramatically. In 10 days? Y you betcha. If you look at what happened in that 10-day period, you look at what happened around the world, it changed dramatically. Number one. Uh, secondly, I don't want you to use uh, all my time. Uh, was, okay, just secondly, your, your but I want, I want to just respond to, uh, secondly, uh, I, I left Goldman Sachs, I sold my shares in Goldman Sachs. Tax I, deferred, too. I, I, you didn't I, have any tax I, on your $200 million. I, I sold my Isn't shares true? In, in Goldman Sachs. I, I, the clause that if you come into the administration, you sell your assets, it's tax deferred. You don't have to pay 200. You had $200 million profit, and you didn't have to pay any tax. Isn't that true? Listen, it's, it's is that a, true it's, or not? It's, yes or it no? It is. You do not pay a profit when someone, a, a, a tax when someone well, makes you sell assets. Maybe that was for you to become Secretary of Treasury so you didn't have to pay the tax there. Oh. It, it, it,